Hello and welcome back to another episode of DCS in 10 minutes or less with the Mirage 2000. This is episode 7 which is going to cover our IDN instrument and radio navigation. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. Alright, we're going to look at our main navigation instrument which is also known as our IDN. Our IDN also shows radio navigation. It displays aircraft heading, heading to a waypoint, TACAN, VAD which is an offset TACAN, and heading to a board station. So let's look at the IDN first and do a breakdown on it. Alright, so this is your IDN, and then if you look to the top where the 12 o'clock position is, it's going to be the heading indicator right here. Next is going to be your compass rose. This is a magnetic compass that shows bearing, so if we go right to 150, this will rotate left until we get to 150. Alright, this green triangle right here, uh, it's your autopilot bearing index. We're not going to go over it. Uh, we'll go over this in a future video. Right down here is your distance window, so you have a navigation waypoint selected, the tack hand selected, or your VAD selected. It'll show you the distance between whatever you have selected. Right here is a large needle. The large needle is going to show the direction of a waypoint, a tack hand, and a VAD. And we have our thin needle as well. The thin needle is going to be just showing the direction of a board beacon. Then right here, these three empty windows, these are malfunction windows. So currently there's no malfunctions, but if there was a malfunction, there would be a red flag in them. So let's go over what the malfunctions are. To the left, we have our thin needle flag. Uh, this is going to be showing that it, there's a malfunction with the needle itself, which is not receiving a beacon. And the reason why it would receive, or does not receive a beacon, sorry, is if there's the wrong frequency or it's just out of range. All right, to the right, we have our large needle flag. Same thing as a thin needle flag, so there's a malfunction with the needle itself, or it just does not have bearing, or it's just out of range. Alright, down here we have a heading flag. It's going to show that there's a compass rose malfunction, so it's the uh, compass rose is thus not rotating, or the plane is not receiving INS uh, guidance. The, most, the one you're going to see the most is going to be uh, the large needle flag, so like tag in, for example. Then down here we have our mode selector. Then we have our bad knob. We'll go over most selector here in a minute. Not even a minute. All right. So first mode. So you you click with uh, left and you click with the right. All right. So click and left. We have true heading and navigation heading. So if you actually notice, there's not a huge difference. Uh, it's not going to be a big difference in DCF as well. Uh, just use nav. And we have tack in. So we don't have a tack in frequency put in right now. So there is. A large needle flag. Then we have a, our uh, VAD, so our offset attack in, and our VAD distance from attack in, our VAD magnetic bearing to attack in or offset point. And then I'm pretty sure this is not implemented, and I don't think it will be. I'm, I'll find out for you guys, and then I'll put in the subtitle it will be or not. Okay, so that covers the IDN. Alright, down here it's going to be our radio navigation. Let me try to get a good angle. That should work. Alright, so yeah, the Mirage has TACAN, has BOR, and has IOS radio navigation. So TACAN can be found on airbase, uh, ships, aircraft such as tankers. BOR is a civilian navigation beacon that provides direction and distance with DME, which says distance measuring equipment. Uh, the Mirage can only do BOR frequencies between 108 to 117.95. Then IOS, so IOS is a navigation system that provides short range guidance for runaway approaches. It has the same operation frequency as BOR, so 108 through 117.95. Uh, let's look on F10 real quick. We've done this before, but we'll do it again. So right here, this hexagon is a VOR, so 114.70. Then this symbol right here is a TACAN. If you don't know that, you can just click on the airfield to see if it has it. So for example, uh, this airfield has a TACAN of 59 X-ray, a VOR of 114.70, which you can see right there. And then ILS will be runway 28 of 11190. Alright, back to the cockpit. Alright, so let's look at TACAN first. So, uh, same thing as the IDN. So you got your display window right here so you know exactly what frequency you have in. So to the left, if you click on the bottom dial, so left and right, so that is X or X-ray frequency and Yankee frequency or bands. Then if you use a scroll wheel uh, up and down, you can choose your frequencies to the left side, and it goes up to 12. To the right, same thing, we 
to our mouse clicks. So off means the plane is not receiving any uh, tack in at all. Receive, so say we had tack in 36 X ray and there's actual attack in station out there that have that, we would receive their information. And transmit receive is pretty much the plane and that tack in just communicating with each other. Air to air, same exact thing, the plane and the attack hand for air to air will be just communicating to each other for navigation stuff. And then using a scroll wheel, this chooses your frequencies as well. Alright, to the left, our Boron ILS. So this knob over here, if you click on it, and it's to the left, so if you have a French cockpit, it will say something else. That just means it's off. And you right click it to M, that means it's on. Same thing, if you use your mouse wheel to scroll, you can choose different board uh, stations. Alright, to the right knob, so if you click on it, it doesn't really matter. It just goes default to center, and then if you click on, did not click it. If you use your mouse wheel to scroll, you can choose different frequencies as well. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to cover uh, the IDN and the radio navigation. See you on the next one.